Well, 648 here on your Friday. I want to get right to your news in a flash. Looking ahead this morning, the White House now announcing $500 million will be available for school bus operators and contractors to buy those new zero emission buses and replace some of the older ones. First round of money is going to come from the infrastructure bill. Applicants are going to be able to check this out today. I'll get you all the details on our website. And meantime, this morning, Winnebago County Coroner Bill Hintz is expected to plead guilty in his misconduct case. We've learned an in-person hearing is set for July 14th. He's accused of misusing the county credit card and stealing from the deceased. Other charges include forgery and obstruction of justice. And happening now, Loves Parkman expected to spend decades in prison after a federal grand jury indicting him on firearm and drug trafficking charges. You see the man there. Again, he could spend up to 20 years in prison. Right now, Eleanor Governor is working to make sure local cities get enough federal funding after a new report from the Census Bureau uh, says or shows that Illinois may have been undercounted by nearly 2%. That data would mean the state's population grew nearly 250,000 people, grew by more than 250,000 people, and that puts the state above 13 million for the first time in history. And looking ahead, more than 70 vendors expected to be out at City Market tonight. So many uh, cool things out there. Go pick up a beer, some food, and check out some live music. That is your news in a flash. Weather